Hey everybody. Let's talk about My Little Pony, the movie. I don't know which camera to look at. I have two running. This is gonna be a bitch keeping up with the multicam. Anyways. Blah. Theater experience. There's maybe me and ten other people. Uh, it was mostly children. There were no bronies to speak of. It was nice. Um, the movie I thought was going to start late, and it didn't. There was only two trailers, one for Frozen 2, and one for some Pixar Day of the Dead thing. And I wasn't paying much attention, because I was busy watching Linus Tech Tips. Uh, okay, so, the story is... Tempest, or Twilight's supposed to be setting up a party friendship festival and she's in charge and then the storm king comes in with tempest and fucks shit up or tempest comes in for the storm king and fucks shit up um and then the main six have to go and save the day you know standard stuff um start with references to the show from what I remember from when I used to watch the show. Derpy Hooves. I saw her twice on screen. Full wall eyes, like almost front and center. Really pleasant to see again. Uh, another one was DJ Pwn3, otherwise known as Vinyl Scratch. Again, just kind of cool to see. Didn't really mean anything. And there was one other visual throwaway gag, which was Pinkie Pie making a balloon animal in the shape of Discord, which was really cool. Discord was not in the movie at all. <clears throat> so, the next we have anomalies. This is things that aren't necessarily bad, but things that I remember from the show, and they weren't in the movie, and therefore the movie made less sense because of it. So, number one on the anomalies it was teleport, question mark. Um, Twilight has the ability to teleport at least short distances, kind of like Nightcrawler. Um, I don't recall if this was potentially a long distance thing, but um, there were several times throughout the movie where just being able to blink from here to here would have been extremely useful, such as right at the beginning when... Uh, Tempest and her goons are disarming the other three princesses. It would have just completely negated the attack on Twilight herself. Um, next on the anomaly is Twilight makes a point to actually mention that these that she's the uh, princess of Twi uh, princess of friendship multiple times throughout the movie. Meanwhile, she is the only person in the movie that isn't getting along with anyone else in the movie the whole time. Like, yeah, no shit. Your, your whole struggle is going to have to be being better friends, even though you spent, what is it, like four or five seasons now getting friendly with all of your friends? That doesn't make any sense. Like, why would you not be able to be like, fuck you! Alright, we're cool. Um, no Care Bear Stare. I vaguely remember them kind of retiring the elements of Harmony, but it's still kind of stupid. Uh, and then, this is why I say they're not necessarily bad. The last thing I have listed under Anomalies is no Pinky Pool. And I say Pinkie Pool as in Pinkie Pie breaking the fourth wall in Deadpool sort of fashion. So there was actually zero instances of that. Which, okay. Uh, and then let's come to the lame stuff. Right at the start we have the wharf effect again with Celestia, Luna, and Cadence. If you don't know what the wharf effect is, it's named for Worf in Star Trek where his main purpose was to be the really badass guy that would always get his ass handed to him by the villain of the week to be like, oh my god, it's so strong! Or like, Superman in the Justice League cartoon. Nine times out of ten, when they were introducing the monster of the week, it would beat Superman's ass. 
just to demonstrate, oh my god, this thing is beating up Superman. So, naturally, Celestia, Luna, Cadence, they all get wiped out right at the start. Um, obviously, they're all way, or they're like canonically more powerful than Twilight, so they should easily be able to dispatch anything. So if you don't write them out right away, then it's like, why are they not helping? What are they doing this whole time? Like, like they have to be disabled for there to be a plot. So, fine. Uh, right at the end, skipping all the way to the end for the lame shit. Um, these are gonna jump around. Tempest's name reveal. At the end, Tempest says, eh, Tempest isn't really my name, it's some garbage bullshit that I'm like, oh, okay. You had to throw that in there as a joke, because Tempest is just too badass. Lame. Uh, let's see... Do, 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 do. Oh! There are many songs throughout the movie, and every single time they sing a song, it's to reverse someone's alignment for that topic of the song. Like, song number one, Twilight is freaking out because she doesn't think she's going to be able to handle party prep all by herself. And the song is, you got this, and then she gets the confidence to got this. Uh, another one is, they're on a pirate ship, and Rainbow Dash starts singing about, you guys should be pirates, you should be awesome again. And then they just decide, yeah, let's be awesome again. Let's go against our orders, even though we literally just said what would happen to us if we go against our orders. Um, so that was annoying. Um, and speaking of the pirate ship, all of the um, like kingdoms or whatever they encounter were just kind of random. Like, they went to this place, and then this place, and then another place, and then finally back to the original place to finish the quest. Uh... Oh! The Storm King. When he finally gets fully powered up at the end, the very first thing he does with his super-powered staff is shoot a lightning bolt that blows through the door. So naturally, rather than attack the main six with one lightning bolt apiece, he just summons a tornado and then doesn't use lightning at all ever again, even though the lightning looked like it could easily one-shot everything. So that was kind of stupid. Um, Songbird Serenade was just a reason to have Sia sing what wound up, I guess, being the theme song for the movie, although I didn't stay for the credits. It wasn't it kind of reminded me like of um try everything from Zootopia, but not as good. And then I have I have fly you fools written, which I just realized that camera is not on autofocus and that one is uh never going to autofocus cuz it's a manual focus lens. Anyways, I have fly you fools listed because Twilight, Rainbow Dash, and Fluttershy can all fly, and at least once in the show, one of them lifts another one up while they're flying, kind of like Tails and Sonic. So three out of six of them can fly, Spike isn't that light, or Spike isn't that heavy, so why don't Twilight, Rainbow Dash, and Fluttershy just carry Rarity, Applejack, and Pinkie Pie to wherever they need to go. Or they fall off cliffs multiple times in the movie, why don't they just kind of cushion the fall? Or even the very first thing that happens to them is they get, they're all on a bridge, and then the Storm King knocks out the bridge with his staff, with a lightning bolt, yet again. Um, he knocks that out, and they're all falling. So I'm like, why is Twilight scared? Why is Rainbow Dash scared? Why is Fluttershy scared other than she's Fluttershy? Dumb. Okay. And then on to the cool stuff. Uh, Capper, in general, was just really cool. Uh, as soon as I saw him on the screen, I was like, there's going to be a lot of porn of this guy. Because he just looks that neato. Uh, Storm King's goons were also really cool. And Tempest was really cool because she had a broken horn and she kind of had that 
female Commander Shepard vibe to her, where she was just kind of mean in a sort of renegade way, and then she seemed really powerful the whole time. But uh, then at the end, she reveals, in addition to her stupid ass name, she's like, I did say I wanted everyone in Equestria to know what I could do, and then she produces fireworks. So apparently what she could do is be Jubilee. The most boring nothing mutant. Yay. But, for what it is, a stupid dumb kid show movie, I didn't hate it. It was pretty decent. And oh my god, this is only like a third as long as any of the other things. Probably to do with the fact that I wrote all these notes after watching the movie when I got home and right before I sat down to actually record this. So, yay, much more brevity. See you all in the next one.